Greetings. Today I want to remind you of how valuable it is to take time for yourself. Now that can look however you want it to look. But in taking time for yourself, what you're truly doing is removing the world's expectations from your life. Not getting caught up in what others think you need to be doing or what you should be doing. It's removing yourself from all of that. Disconnecting yourself from the external. And giving yourself that time to see what you expect for yourself. And providing it to yourself. Now that may be going to learn a new skill. If that's what you desire. That could be relaxing. Having a lazy moment. Having a lazy day. Having a lazy week. Alright. But it's very important. To take time for self. Because truthfully. That's all you have. It's very important to remove yourself. From the constructs or the beliefs of others. That's the expectation I'm referring to. You must take time to connect with yourself. To understand your motives. Your beliefs. The ideas that consume you. Almost to a point that we can get rocked to sleep. And not be truly aware of who we are innately. That's the power of who we are. Not getting caught up in your this age, you should be doing this. You should have this amount of money. Your health should look like this. You should have a family. What is your career? Why aren't you doing what everyone else is doing? Why aren't you attempting to be in the rat race? Why aren't you prioritizing being cool? Man, all that's for the outside world. You have to take time to connect with who you are. What you desire in your life. Focus on those things. Now sometimes we do have external obligations that we must tend to. That's fine. I just want to remind you that that's not who you truly are. That's what you entertain. That's what you may do. To use up time. uh, To maintain financial stability. To maintain reputation. That's alright. I'm not judging anyone for it. Just want to remind you that that's not who you are. It's what you give your energy to. But you. The divine energy that, that is you. All in all. You must take time. And sit in that energy. And if it's not comfortable, it's because of choices that you have made. Change the choices. Don't beat yourself up. Don't judge yourself. Nah. We're not here to we're not here to do that. I just want to remind you that change is always an option. And it's a beautiful thing. Sometimes you step into uncharted waters. Okay. Move forward. But do it knowing that it's your choice. Do it knowing that whatever God you believe in has you. And will carry you along the way. More importantly... Taking away the expectations of the external world 
it allows you to sit with yourself and understand that any pressure that appears in your reality most likely it isn't even coming from you it's coming from something outside of you so being able to remove yourself from that expectation being able to set your own standard for who you are in your life you're going to appear different because you are different many may not they may not even be able to grasp how you move on your journey but it's not for them and we are conditioned in so many ways to meet the expectations of those people places things outside of us but to what end that is the rat race of life. The rat race is not just about the work life. Nah. It's about getting caught up and chasing behind the ideas and beliefs of others. Whether that be a, a group of people, institution, society, what have you. But being able to find peace within yourself. Once you find a certain stability within yourself, you remove all those expectations naturally because then you're only focused on self you're only focused on your perspective you're only focused on how can I evolve more in these areas that I deem to be important to me and in doing so you create a certain kind of life that For lack of better terms, it's authentic to you. And there's nothing more beautiful than to experience that. Because that's the gift that you give to yourself. Now, you may be able to find a certain level of ecstasy, a certain level of satisfaction in the ideas of others. But there's always going to be a lingering desire within yourself. And I am of the belief that that desire can only be fulfilled by having our own ideas, by, our, by connecting with our own perspectives and expressing our beliefs that we have chosen for ourselves. Now, it's not to say that we can simply ignore the entire world. No, I mean, that's quite difficult, especially in the world where we're so connected. I mean, we've never met and we're connected through the Internet. This is part of this reality. But take time. Give yourself that space. Because only then can you really see the dreams that you have for yourself. Only then can you comprehend or even acknowledge the dreams that you have already brought to fruition in your life. But when you connect with that power within you, you begin to see how much more vital it is to operate from a place that's true for you. As opposed to operating within the constructs of others ideas and beliefs. It's about understanding self. It's about allowing the story of you to unfold in a manner that's beautiful for you. You set the tone. You create the theme. Your life can be joyous. Your life can be thrilling. Hell, your life can be a comedy. I mean, it's the movie of your life. But if you don't take control of the script, the plot, the character traits, and what you deem to be important, you're just playing a role for somebody else. 
And regardless of what anyone says, if you're not in control of your life or how you view your life, if you're not in control of the choices that you make, it's always going to feel like something's missing. For some of us, it take years, decades, lifetimes, what have you, to, to grasp that idea. But there's always going to be a wanting, a desire for more, and that's okay. But allow that desire within you to be fed by your choices. And don't seek the outside validation. Don't seek outside a remedy for finding a way to trust yourself to believe in yourself and to express yourself in a way that further develops that life that you see for yourself and in doing this you help You, I mean you help others in ways that you could never even see because sometimes simply living in a way that's of your own design helps others see that they too can do it. Just trust and believe in yourself. Until next time, be blessed.